Hello everyone, this is Shay, and I'm going to go over the Everyday Witch Oracle. Now I'm not going to go through every single card, because so many people have done that, and you don't need to see that again, right? Right. But what I'm going to show you is my modification that I did, so I can find these cards in this guidebook better than I could before. Because before, they are not alphabetized in the book, and they are not numbered. They are numbered for each element, yes, but then you have to find the element, then you have to find that each card. So, I just made it easier for myself, and I thought I'd share that with you. Maybe it could help you find each card in the book. Now, this is the oracle, the Everyday Witch Oracle that goes with the every witch, Everyday Witch Tarot. And this is like my favorite deck right now I am using it for the fall and it's just so cute and I love the Oracle that goes with it it's fantastic and I think everyone will love it too even better once you do what I have done and make it easier to find it in the guidebook now these cards are nice because they do have a keyword on each card however I added in gold sharpie, I don't know if you can see that, the alchemical symbol for the element and the number of the card on where you can find it. Now, these cards I also edged, hold on one second, I also edged these cards to go with each element. Green, blue, earth, air, fire, water. I just hear my dogs barking, so I'm like, what's going on out there? But I did that. That will help me find them, as well as putting the number and the alchemical symbol. Down here, water, yes, and you can tell that this is water. And then the number on where to find it. And what I like about this guidebook is it has so many options for you for each card. And see, that one is affirmation, water number eight. Yeah, you just have to read my handwriting too. That's that's the bummer. <laughs> so hold on one sec. I'm going to use the blue little tab for... Yes, I did this one-handed because something is wrong with my camera stand. <laughs> can't do it one-handed oh my gosh okay I think water changing body spirit sorry guys okay yes affirmation for a positive change and that's same what that one is and that's great I mean I love this card I mean she takes off her dress she's gonna go join the pirate ship that's pretty fantastic, if you ask me. So what you have is, of course, the what it talks about the card. And then it talks about the action for the card, the divination for the card. And then it will talk about the magic for each card that you should do. And that is just, to me, fantastic how it talks about the magic for each card. For example, this one, to help achieve positive change Light a blue or white candle and say its affirmation. Oh, say this affirmation. If things don't seem to be moving forward, try saying it every day with or without the candle. I am strong and capable, and every day moves more closer to achieving the positive changes I desire. So I love that. So I, you know, I just, I'd love to use the guidebook. I mean, it's nice that, I mean, it gives you an idea on the card. It's very clear what it's trying to tell you, but I love it also gives you these options in the book as well. I have puppy staring at me from my door. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but that is what I did to help me with this oracle and I'm just showing it. I'm sharing it so it could help you too to help you find them in the guidebook. So next time on the, the second one, U.S. Games, <laughs> I think it's U.S. Games, please number the cards in the book so they're easier to find. Anywho, that's what I wanted to share. You guys have a lovely day. Bye.